The French van, being new, tried not to upset the price quality balance. However, in a used Citroën Berlingo, many immediately notice a number of shortcomings. Let's dwell on some cars, known all over the world under the capacious abbreviation MPV, multi-purpose vehicle, multi-purpose vehicle, English, we traditionally call heels or even vans. Nicknames are not offensive, rather, even cute. At the same time, people do not expect special talents and abilities from such machines, for giving them technological flaws, scarcity of equipment and asceticism for their versatility and diligence. They work on such cars, and therefore their margin of safety should be above average. Is this the case with the second generation Citroen Berlingo, which was born in 2008? It turned out not really. The reviews of the owners are the opposite, some are not overjoyed at a car with a 150,000th mileage, while others curse even fresh copies. Let's see what causes skepticism. In Ukraine, Berlingo was offered in passenger and cargo modifications. There were several motors, but diesel units were the most popular, which is quite logical. In particular, 90 horsepower 1.6 liter D. Everyone relied on the only transmission, a 5-speed mechanics. After 2012, it was also possible to order a robot, which, due to the high price, is considered exotic in our country. If we talk about modifications with gasoline engines, among their shortcomings we note the high level of oil consumption by the 16-valve 1.6 TU5 JP4, and the frequent problems with the timing drive of the 120 horsepower 1.6 T EP6. Experts often recommend less powerful motors for purchase, it's more reliable. The diesel is characterized by the standard problems with the fuel equipment and carbon deposits that accumulate in the lubrication system and on the bottom of the oil pan, which leads to wear, for example, of the turbocharger. Therefore, random gas stations are extremely contraindicated for diesel cars. Contrary to expectations, everything is not going smoothly with the MCP either. Many complaints about the falling backstage. More precisely, on the gearbox rods flying out of the ball joints. Not all boxes work clearly, there are hitches when shifting gears, although there were no mass failures in the box. The clutch runs for 80,000 km. We were lucky with the Citroen Berlingo body, it is galvanized on all sides, so cars are very reluctant to rust. Many are not satisfied with its weak rigidity, which is easy to see on the go, especially for cars with a glass roof. In any case, the locks of the rear swing doors are quickly loosened and require replacement. But most of all the owners complain about the Berlingo suspension. It happened that the front struts rumbled even in new cars. It holds our roads poorly, and by 50,000 km it was often necessary to change not only the racks, but also the ball joints with steering tips. To sum up, there are not so many comforting factors left. The car is not ideal in terms of reliability and quickly loses value. It is better to look for an instance with a less powerful motor, even if its dynamics are depressing. Well, you have to put up with the vagaries of the suspension, many gasoline Berlingos like to stall on the go. The situation can be corrected by replacing the fuel pump. In terms of reliability and cost of maintenance, these motors are not perfect, leaks through the valve cover gasket, throttle issues, failure of the lower motor pillows, ignition coils, but overall not bad. And yet it is better to give preference to diesel units, especially the 90 strong one. Expect a catch from a 5-speed gearbox is not worth it. Its main disadvantages are the short stroke and the lack of a 6th gear. Many owners noted that if the gears on the new car turned on fuzzy, with a crunch, then problems during further operation are guaranteed. However, even the howling of the box at some speeds did not progress over time. Even on small runs, the suspension can tap on bumps. The source can be either the shock absorbers themselves or their top cushions. By 50,000 km, most likely, it will be necessary to change almost the entire chassis, ball, tie rods with tips, silent blocks, hub bearings, stabilizer bar. Every 40,000 km it is recommended to change the brake discs. If there are no complaints from the point of view of corrosion resistance to the body, then many note the softness of the metal by the formation of dents. There are flaws in the rear right view, the mirror does not work well. The soundproofing of the engine compartment leaves much to be desired. There are miscalculations in ergonomics. In some places in the cabin there is a feeling of savings on everything. Heating of the interior of diesel versions in winter is traditionally inefficient. There is a problem with the fuse box. They manifest themselves in different ways, from the failure of the fuel pump to the absence of a signal. Since the relays installed in the unit cannot be replaced separately, the entire assembly has to be changed. Paddle switches often require repair, sliding contacts burn out. There were failures of door limit switches, loss of contacts in the wiring of the heater fan, 
but in general, the nature of the problems with the electrician is not massive. 